Coming up next on Secrets of Little Chefs Live, a dozen ways to make burgers and six ways to make muscles, muscles and burgers bar, and the cousins behind it sharing their secrets right now on Secrets of Little Chefs Live. From Kitchen Theater at Sullivan University, this is Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live with your host, Kentucky's own Kevin Harden, and America's Chief Entertaining Officer, Tim Laird. Here now, ready to reveal the secrets, Kevin Harden. and welcome to Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. I'm Kevin Harnett, and you are in for a treat today. Two cousins in the house, the Martinez's, and they're sharing their secrets behind what makes their local restaurants so great. You're going to see the Cuban burger revealed before your eyes, learn the secrets to that, and some muscles made in a way, well, let's just say you've probably never done it at home, at least until today, as you learn the secrets. What do you say we get our show started with our host, Tim Laird? <laughs> Tim, wow! This is going to be a treat. They are—they're excited. They are very excited. They are excited. <laughs> wow! And they should be. Yes, when you they think should. of the local restaurant scene that we have here in Louisville, it really is amazing. Have you been to Muscle and Burger? I have indeed. Oh, have you seen that burger? Comes unbelievable! Like that? <laughs> Everything is fabulous there, so I can't wait to see the secrets. Well, we're learning the secrets to burgers, muscles, and a cocktail at the end of the show that you'll be making. Yes, we are. A blue mango lemonade that's uh, awesome. Well, I'm going to step out of the way as we get started with the muscles. Great. Thanks, Kevin. All right. It's a great day to be in the theater. Yes! I'll tell you what, Muscle and Burger Bar, what a great place. I'll tell you, they do burgers like no other and muscles like no other. So, without further ado, I'm going to bring on Janiel Martinez. Yeah. Hello, Chef. Hello. Oh. Jeff, for those that haven't been to uh, Muscle and Burger Bar, tell us a little bit about the concept, uh, where you're located, and a little bit about the restaurant. We are at uh, 9200 uh, at Taylorsville Road in uh, Stony Brook Village Shopping Center. Um, the concept is uh, mainly burgers and uh, muscles. We have like six different muscles and like 12 burgers. <laughs> a lot uh, to choose from. Yep, yeah, including a seafood and a veggie burger. And um, the idea comes from uh, my cousin and uh, executive chef Fernando and me, we always talk about food and we love muscles bur and burgers. And we have seen like burger bars and muscle bars, but, but then we saw, well, 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 let's do something together. together. Yeah. What a great <laughs> idea that is, I'm telling you. What are you showing us first? Yeah, we're doing uh, today the blue cheese and pancetta uh, muscles. Wow. We heat our pan with a little bit of uh, oil, just vegetable oil. We start with the uh, mint shallots. Nice, good flavor too. Yep. And it's finely minced. Look at that. Yep. And they're they're hard because they're a little small. You know, they get in there and. Yeah, I mean, we have some techniques like a food processor that we can use. Uh... <laughs> I never. <laughs> How about that? We we we're in the 2000s now. We have a food <laughs> processor too. Garlic. Very nice. We use uh, coarse uh, sea salt. Okay. And that's what everybody should use at home too when you're cooking. I mean, yep. of course, because you can see what you're putting on, and it's not and so it's, thin where. It... And it's more like uh, palatable, you know, like the normal salt, like the uh, regular salt is too too strong. You too know? strong, yeah. And you you have more control with this this kind of salt. I love it. We have uh, fresh ground um, Malabar pepper. Okay. What a great base, I gotta say. <laughs> garlic and shallots. Yep, garlic, and shallots, salt, and pepper. pepper. Um, we cook it for a little bit, and we add a. That's, that's our. This is our first secret. Okay. It's the beer. It's a Kentucky beer, local beer. So we have a local flavor in, a, in our muscles. That means for happy muscles, yes. right? Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we cook it a little bit, so and infuse all the the vegetables. This is our, our homemade uh, chicken stock. Okay. Wow, you can tell it's homemade. Look, I mean, that is yep. the real deal. This didn't come out of a can. No. So let's get uh, some heat in the pan. And then what we do, 
um, with the blue cheese, we add flavor to the mussels, and at the same time, this is what thickens the sauce. Oh, yeah. Get some heat in there, and uh, all the, the cheese is going to melt in the sauce. And you know what's, that's great, what's great about mussels is you get that wonderful sauce. And then you get a little nice piece of bread. The big bread. And you soak in that. And so soak it uh -huh. up and just get every bit of that. We're using uh, like not regular mussels. We keep them all, all the time in ice and water so they, keep, uh, they don't die. They're still alive. And uh, the other secret on, on the mussels is um, as soon as they open, they're done. So don't cook it any more than that because you overcook them. They'll so, let you know when they're done. Yeah, they, so open up, they open up and that's take it. Take them off. Yep. And the other thing is too, uh, again, I think a lot of people make the mistake, they put them in a plastic bag or they cover them, they need air. Yeah, so. I mean, just the way we do it in a restaurant, it's like a big pan full of ice and then we put all the mussels on top of it. Oh, and they stay cool inside the cooler and fresh. And if I'm buying it at my local fishmonger, I do the same thing. Just yeah. a pan of ice uh -huh. in the refrigerator, keep them cool. So we put all the mussels in. And if you're doing this home, I'll bet it's the same time as you finish the leftover beer that the mussels yeah. are done. Yeah. <laughs> Another way to time when they're done. So you should see the, the sauce is already thickened. You bet. Let's add a little bit more of the blue cheese. Oh, John, yeah, this looks crazy. And it smells good. So if you see all the mussels that are already like open, that's the sign that you stop the heat. And then uh, let's do plating. Great. We have those nice bowls. That's what I love about the big bowl. Simple. That goes in. You like. Oh, put see, that's the secret. You, you yep. have the bowl meet the mussels. Uh -huh. Otherwise, see, I'm backing out because if you don't do it that way, it's going to go all over the, there you go. the painting. So you got your mussels. It's out with a little bit more of the. Of course, you need some more cheese. of that. <laughs> yes, we were done with the blue cheese. Some parsley on top. And the pancetta. Oh, the pancetta nice. is like uh, like we slice it, we cut it like in little bit in chunks, and then we just uh, in a pan we we crisp it. So, so it's, it's going to be nice, nice and crispy. crunchy can, too uh -huh. on that. It's like some extra texture on there. Oh, I like that flavor and texture. Oh yeah, it's crunchy and delicious. It has a, a nice little taste to it. Pancetta. So and that's the uh, blue cheese and pancetta. What we do is we put that plate, not only to hold the plate, when you get to the table, you just put it aside. You eat your mussels, you can put the shells on that plate. That's right. So that's, what, that's how to do it, because I, I see a lot of people, they don't know what to do. Yeah, no, uh -huh. you take the, this off, and here's your holder for the shells. Yes, sir. And the, the like, <laughs> <laughs> like I told you, the final part, it's a nice piece of uh, you have room warm for that? bread. Oh, yeah. like oh, that is, ab look at that. Absolutely fabulous. Oh, that is great. Jean Yell, unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Full of goodness. All right. Stay with us because uh, Fernando Martinez is going to show us some more secrets from Muscle and Burger Bar on Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. <laughs> Chefs Live, I'm Kevin Hart, and we are in the Kitchen Theater at Sullivan University. Before a live studio audience and all of you folks at home, you're learning the secrets from the Martinez cousins. Of course, Muscles and Burger Bar, known for not only muscles, but burgers. And the uh, Fritas Cubana is up next as Fernando Martinez reveals the secrets to that. It is unbelievable. Just take a look. You know if it's going to come out on a bun like this, it's got to be good. What do you say we learn the secrets to that? Tim Lane. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> you, oh, oh, I'm telling you. A, a sign of a good dish, you just have to look at the ingredients. And I can't wait for now. I want to keep talking about I, it, but I'd rather no, taste it. Yeah, let's do it. All, All right. right. All right. Thanks, Kevin. All right. I'll tell you what. To reveal the secrets, we're going to bring on Fernando Martinez. <laughs> Hello, Chef. Now, now, Chef, is this the, the, uh, the Cuban? And you know, I wanted to do a take on that bur Cuban burger, but do a, a something a little bit different. So what we did is uh, we get uh, imported uh, Spanish chorizo. We mix it. This is what, you know, you can see that, you know, all the chorizo is, uh, and you can actually oh, yeah. cook this burger medium rare because the chorizo is already, it's already cooked, right? cooked uh, dry cured. 
So, you know, I'm going to start by uh, what we do at the restaurant, you know, uh, use a little bit of butter to, you know, cook our bread a little bit. Here we're using oil, but normally what we do at the restaurant, we make, uh, you know, 20 pounds of brown butter at a time. And that's how, what we use to uh, baste our, our burgers. We treat our burgers like you would at a steak. And you know, the reason why I do this with the bread is so when you set the burger on top, you have that sear on the bread. It won't so soak the, it, it won't. It soaks, you yeah. know, it still soaks a lot of the uses, but it, it makes it a little bit denser, so it holds uh, your burger. That's so a while, good, That's a great secret, because I know a lot of times at home, you put just the bun on top of there, and then it, it's all soggy. And then, you know, your top part is, you know, well, but the bottom is all moochy. Right. You know, it's, this is why you, you know, sear your bread a little bit. You want to get a good crust on it. And also what, what that does is it gives the bread more flavor. So, you know, you're building flavors while. So now we're going to season our uh, burger while our bread is uh, going. And we season our burgers really heavily. Because, you know, when you sear the burger on the flat top, you lose half of the, uh, of the seasoning. I think that's neat to know that uh, don't worry about over seasoning because half of you're going to lose yeah, half anyway. Half, so, I mean, of, half, your, oh, half of your salt is going to stay, you know, in the pan. So if you under season it, you know, by the time, you know, you take it out of the pan, it's not going to be well seasoned. So see our burger, it's, uh, burger bun is uh, ready to go. So now that our pan is hot. That's what you want to hear, that's that little it. sizzle. Oh, yeah. That's like music. <laughs> then you go to the back kitchen. You know, how many burgers do you have on there at a time? It's like a whole orchestra. We, uh, we, I, <laughs> <laughs> I counted one weekend and we did over 700 burgers. Wow. It was, uh, you know, it was one of those days that <laughs> it's nonstop. And we, I probably have one of the two best grill cooks in town because, I mean, in a bad night we get two burgers sent back. I mean, they get the temperature right on it. I mean, it's that's, it's amazing. Out of all those, to just have two come back after 700, I mean, that's that's unbelievable. I mean, they do an amazing job. You can see now the chorizo. It's, you oh, see how yeah. the, the, oh. the oil is changing color. That's all the paprika that they use to, uh, you know, to make the chorizo. Boy, I, I can start to smell that too. Oh my oh, God! You guys get to smell that uh, chorizo coming out a little bit. Oh yeah. And you're right, look at that. Yeah, it's, so what we're gonna do, you know, to uh, speed a little bit of our cooking time, you know, just cover the burger a little bit. Uh, Another secret, you can do this at home, right, too? Yeah, that's it. We do at the restaurant what we call confit tomatoes, but it's pretty much our chunky ketchup. We do, uh, you know, really ripe tomatoes. Uh, first, we peel them. Okay. Then we take the uh, seeds from, you know, just squeeze them to get the seeds out. Then we cook them with uh, cherry vinegar, a uh, little bit of sugar, a little bit of uh, uh, olive oil, and just like confit the tomatoes, we add caramelized onions, uh, a little bit of ketchup. So it's like a, you know, when you cook it, it it's like a, you know, chunky ketchup, really sweet. Beautiful. Uh, some, uh, I think like five burgers on the menu. We also add uh, confit garlic to it okay. to flavor it. So this is what we use for uh, ketchup at the restaurant. Uh, it's like a chunky. It's your, it's uh, we call own, it we yeah. call it confit tomatoes, but it's like a chunky. Uh, you know. It's taste and texture. That's it. Wow. Uh, we also add to this burger. We add caramelized onions. Love so those. So we're gonna add them here in the pan to uh, warm them up a little bit. Also have some of that good little sauce That's in there it. too. Yeah. Woo. And. We use uh, a Spanish uh, manchego cheese. Manchego. Manchego cheese. Uh, I'm going to add our uh, caramelized onions. I'm going to yeah. add our. Oh my gosh. And you know, at, at the restaurant, we use, uh, we use a salamander. But here we don't have a salamander, so we're going to use a salamander to go. There you go. <laughs> salamander Express. Look at that. <laughs> now, we don't recommend you doing this at home. We're sharing the secrets, but <laughs> don't get out the blowtorch, gang. Come on. <laughs> He's a professional. We've checked him out. He can do this. Oh. Yeah, because your salamander gets to that uh -huh. high, high, huge temperature, yeah, it's and it's right there. 20 seconds under the salamander, and you're ready to go. I'm going to warm our uh, serrano ham. This is like a prosciutto, but it's, you know, the Spanish, uh, you know, Spanish... Uh, Prosciutto, I would yeah. say. It's, it tastes similar, 
Uh, we add a little bit of that. And we're going to plate our uh, burger. Wow. This is I mean, amazing. I mean, you started out with huge flavors with just a burger and then uh, the cheese. Then we do uh, a little bit of grateful greens. Uh, this is uh, a little bit of uh, pepper crust. I knew we were going to go healthy on this. Uh, there you go. You know, <laughs> so it makes <laughs> you it feel have better. Some greens in there. And you know, this is uh, how our you know burgers oh, come out. Oh my God! That. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Fernando, I mean, it's just incredible. Thank Everything you, you guys you. are doing out there, I'll tell you what. Fernando Martinez, Muscle and Burger Bar. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. You're killing it. I'm telling you, you gotta get out there. Anyway, incredible place. Stay with us. Coming up, I have a Blue Mango Lemonade. Sullivan University and Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live. I'm Kevin Harned. The show wrapping up. And before we go, you know, we know that the Martinez cousins can cook, but we're really going to just double check that here today. We've got Zach Everson with us. Zach uh, from EaterLouisville.com. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for asking me. You know, Eater.com nationwide really uh, shows uh, the spotlight on all of the foodie cities mm -hmm. across the country. Yeah, absolutely. We launched in Louisville back in November, and the uh, site's gotten a lot of attention. Well, Louisville is well deserving of absolutely. that. It, absolutely. By population, though, probably down it the is, list. It is, but in terms of news, I mean, there's not as much news as about restaurants as there's about weather, but it's up there. There's never yeah. a shortage of stuff to write about. It. Right. Well, close though. You almost, know, it's almost. why I'm involved with both. Exactly. You know. <laughs> hey, um, you know, you've had a chance to visit most of the city's mm -hmm. restaurants. Muscle and Burger Bar is a fantastic concept and place. It's got a great reputation. I mean, we did an open thread where we asked people for what their favorite burger place was around town, and they got a lot of positive feedback there. Well, let's take a taste first. The mussels, of course, with the blue cheese. Um, it, yeah. Can I keep eating or do I? Have to say something? <laughs> well, you might want to make can a just comment. Judge my, since you we're, can just judge we're, my opinion <laughs> when I finish the plate. This is fantastic. I mean, the blue cheese is great here. And again, you know, the serving size is probably, you know, uh, upwards of one of the yeah. larger serving sizes you'll see oh, in yeah. town. Now, that's the mussels with the blue cheese. Of course, uh, one of mm -hmm. Tim's favorite parts happens to be dipping and getting the getting all of that juice the on sauce, the bread yeah. there. Um, Zach, I'm going to want you to taste the hamburger too, so don't fill up. <laughs> We, I feel like I'm a kid again. We only have a half hour. We're wrapping to sound like up my here. Dad when I was a kid in the restaurant, <laughs> don't fill up on the appetizers. Don't worry about your shirt. Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> tuck the napkin in and go at it. That's so right. uh, whatever you need to All do right. there, the uh, Fritas <laughs> Cubana. There you go. I've always wanted to see how someone tackles uh, one of their burgers. I'm glad I'm the test case. <laughs> oh. oh. Mm. Listen, everybody else likes it. They're like, oh. Mm. Ah. It's as good as you think it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All Tom right. Manchego's fantastic. That's fantastic. Zach, while you're enjoying that, I'm going to bring in Tim Laird here. <laughs> Tim? Yeah. I love that. That is great. <laughs> I, I, I like look, that. Look at this. Look how he shakes my hand. <laughs> yeah. Good job, I think Kevin. you might want a sample. <laughs> good job, Kevin. All <laughs> right. No. I'd say that was the greatest thing. You have somebody take a big bite and then ask them questions. Uh, yeah. well, that's what you guys. The audience was like responding. They're like, mm, "Yeah." I was like, How do you all know? <laughs> Unbelievable, Zach. You approve? Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Can I bring this back with me in my seat? Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Take this. <laughs> might need Better yet, take <laughs> this. Maybe a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, thank you. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Eater.com. I wasn't sure. Well, I, I guess we don't get a bite. <laughs> you, you were supposed to protect that, Kevin. Uh, you, you let it go. It, anyway, it, that's it, right. It Maybe. was the only thing we've ever made that I just had to take a lick of my own hand to somehow get a taste. That looked good. Anyway, I've got a cocktail to put up with that. This is a very refreshing, easy to make cocktail. It's what I call my blue mango lemonade. Very simple ice with uh, a glass with ice and then I'm going to put in about two ounces Finlandia mango infused vodka 
and about three or four ounces of fresh lemonade going. And, and that is like the color of the year too, isn't it? Is, it? is that what's oh, it's this? delicious. I'll tell you what, this is a blue raspberry mix. Okay. So it's uh, alcohol free, but that blue raspberry, I'll tell you what, it reminds me Actually, that smell, you know, it's Scope. like a snow cone. No, just, no. <laughs> no I'm just teasing. Snow cones. It, actually, it does. You know, snow, remember those yeah, blue snow cones? That. It's, it's blue raspberry. Yes. Very delicious. Is that, that what it is? Yes, blue raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> As I though would, you're lying to me. I would make this up, Kevin. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, blue raspberry, lemonade, and wow. mango. Uh, that goes in. And then finally, with a little uh, lemon peel garnish, put that around the glass. Boom. That goes in. Let's see how we did, Kevin. Just like always. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Or, what do we say? Tastes like? Another. Another. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Good deal. So Kim, what a fun show it's been. It has been. We appreciate the Martinez cousins for coming in and sharing their secrets. Appreciate your talents as well, Tim. Thank you. And for all of those folks watching, if you're looking for the recipes, they're easy to find. Just look them up on newlocaltv.com. There you'll find the recipes as well as a complete restaurant guide for our great city here in Louisville. We thank you for watching. For all of us at b, &B Productions and Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Harned. We'll see you next time on Secrets of Louisville Chefs. Good. Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live is recorded in front of a live studio audience.